I'm going skiing. Baron tea and one of the heat tech like thinner like thermals. That... Mm -hmm. Got our gals who had some. Hello my loves, welcome back to a new video. I'm going skiing. It's a last minute trip, but I'm officially going skiing, which I was not expecting to happen in this January. So I'm feeling very, very excited. I feel like I'm overheating already in the ski suit, but I thought I would do two parts, maybe even three parts. It really depends how we get on on the ski trip and how I kind of want to split up the week. But I thought the first part of the videos, I would kind of do a pack with you, travel with me to Barcelona because we're flying to Barcelona. Barcelona first, doing a night there, and then we're going from there to Andorra, which is about a three and a half hour coach journey. So I'm doing this whole trip with Girls Who Travel, which some of you may know is Bronte King's brand and company that she's launched to basically connect women around the world who have either graduated originally, that's kind of where it came from, but also just connecting communities of females and helping them get the opportunity to travel, whether it's solo traveling that you guys wanna do, or whether it's like traveling together, or just meeting people. There's like gals who sweat, there's gals who read, there's like a whole community on Facebook. And I'm on the Facebook group and oh my God, just being on that and just getting like people's advice or seeing some girls like, who have just met through girls who travel or girls who graduate and are connecting and living together now is just amazing. Like the community she has built is mind blowing. So when she was like, there's a spare space on this trip to come along, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to come. So yeah, I booked on to the Girls Who Travel trip. This will be my first one that I'm experiencing and I am super excited. I don't know anyone going other than Bronte and Amber, one of her best friends, and it will just be a really cool experience. I'm actually doing lessons when we're out there because I wanted to properly like nail it down. Those of you guys that have seen my previous ski vlogs will know I did two days of lessons, two hours a day, and then I was like straight on the slopes. And I had one of those moments where I like cried on a gondola down, <laughs> literally went down on my bum one of the days. And I yeah, just feel like the practice and the lessons really, really helped build my confidence and made everything feel a little bit more exciting. And I kind of wanted to take like the opportunity for this trip to do the lessons with some of the other girls that are doing it. So it will be really exciting. I was very much umming and ahhing about going because I feel like it's a bit out of my comfort zone in terms of like meeting new people and going and like staying in my own room. And although I know Bronte and I know Amber, it just does feel like that for me. It felt very out of my comfort zone. I think that's just skiing in general. I find it absolutely terrifying, but also so amazing at the same time. And Jay was like, what are your pros and cons? And I was like, the cons are, I'm scared. <laughs> And he was like, more reason to do it. Literally step outside your comfort zone and just do it. And I mean, that is like one of my life mottos. So I instantly was like, yeah, I'm going, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna experience this. I also am not gonna remember, like I was like, I mean like, oh, I could be at home like in my room or I could go on the trip. And I was like, I'm definitely gonna remember going on this trip January, 2024. Whereas I don't know if I'll remember like being in my room the first week of Jan and so on. So I was like, the fact that I'm lucky enough and in a position where I can go, which guys I feel very, very grateful for. And I just want to like reiterate just like how much you guys make anything like this possible for me. Like I would not be here without you. And I just don't even know how to thank you guys enough. Like I, yeah, want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you all the time. And I'll keep doing giveaways this year, just in little ways to kind of show my love for you guys being here. But yeah, I feel very grateful that I am able to do this. But anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling and getting sidetracked, but just want you guys to know that I do feel very lucky and very privileged to be in the position that I'm in. So yeah, I don't take any of that for granted and being outside my comfort zone in this way is gonna be a really cool experience. So I am excited. Anyway, I'm packing. It's literally happening in like a day. <laughs> I literally found out about this three days before. So it's like good that my ski bag was practically packed from Finland, but this is suit number one that I'm taking. This is from Bowen T. It's just like really, really comfy on, really stretchy. I currently have two layers of thermals on under this, but I probably am gonna do maybe two more. I feel like I could potentially loosen the belt and layer over 
under, sorry, <laughs> a little bit more. But yeah, this is suit number one. And then I'm taking my moon boots because I obviously won't be skiing in these, but for walking around, they're just really warm and perfect for apri when my feet hurt from wearing the skis for too long. Next ski suit, I have my pink top shot one, which I literally love. I feel like for first day lessons, this is what I go for because then they can spot me if I'm falling down a like, cliffside. <laughs> basically so this is the other one I'm gonna take I also know how warm this is I wore this last year it's actually one size up than my usual size so I can layer like quite a lot so on the days where it's a lot colder this is kind of the one I go for and I know that I can trust it so I thought this would be a good one to pack now it's super excessive to be taking free ski suits but it's me and it's part of my job <laughs> that's basically my excuse is that it's all part of the job also my legs have grown <laughs> This is so much tighter than it was last year. Um, I obviously have the two layers of thermals on, but I'm a little bit worried that, I, I don't know, maybe I don't take this. I just feel like I can barely, yeah, it's, it's, it's tight. It's got tighter, unless it's because I've had it dry cleaned. I don't know. I'm gonna maybe later try on a few like added thermals and see how I go. But this is my Goldberg suit I invested in last year and I love it. It is meant to be for life. The fact that I, <laughs> my legs have grown. It's because I've been doing weight training, so my thighs are slightly different shape than they were last year. Um, and yeah, I just feel like maybe that's why. But yeah, this is the Goldberg suit. It's incredible. The quality is like 10 out of 10. I am debating whether to rent this out at different points in the year, just in case any of you guys do want to borrow it as well. But it's just beautiful. And it's, yeah, one that I really do want to take. But I'm going to kind of decide last minute this evening on like what I'm gonna be able to fit in because at the moment I can probably fit these in but I want to see how I go I mean I'm there for a week so I'm skiing for five days total I definitely only need really one ski suit but because of me and what I do and like my job I tend to like to mix up my outfits on most days so that's the reason I would probably take all three right we then have my ski gloves my mittens from Bow & Tee my beanies and like all my thermal socks and my bum bag which I wear on the slopes and yeah I've just got all my ski socks these are my bone tea ski socks and then these are like mountain warehouse I think or something I've had them for a couple of years then I've just got thermal socks for the evenings feel like that is potentially enough and then I have like just my classic socks that I wear underneath but it's always best not to wear too many pairs of socks because otherwise your feet get really really cold so I tend to do two or three but this is just my packing cube full of like the ski gloves and essentials and bits like that I stupidly completely realized that I have washed literally all the stuff that I'll be wearing in like the evenings when I'm there so I mean I tend to just stay for like apri in my ski stuff and like roll down the like ski suits because I know so many people say to me aren't ski suits really annoying when you're skiing to like go to the toilet but it literally makes no difference to me if I'm wearing like salopettes or trousers I just pull it down and I find it absolutely fine so obviously it's a little bit more effort in some cases but for me I don't mind at all and I basically have washed my Lululemon flares because I tend to wear my thermals under those in the evenings when I want to be a little bit more comfortable and then black roll neck jumper which is washed and then my black puffer from weekday which I wear just as like my evening coat so they are currently on the clothes horse drying <laughs> fingers crossed they dry fast enough but I thought I would show you guys and run you through my thermals as well Vest is Uniqlo this is my little thermal vest from them then one of the heat tech like thinner thermals that they do which are so so soft these are just great for like layering underneath and I find that because they're such a thin thermal base layer perfect when you want to do like multiple layers at once and I've got the roll neck heat tech thermal from Uniqlo which again really really soft really nice to layer with so I have these cotton leggings that I wear and then I wear the Uniqlo heat tech leggings underneath and I tend to go a size up in just like cotton leggings these are from H&M because then I can layer loads of the thermal leggings on underneath and I just find these like keep everything in place and super super comfortable when I'm skiing then this is the heat tech in the cream that I have so the heat tech thermals by Uniqlo are all like really really soft so they do these ones which are like the regular heat tech and then they also do this is the ultra thick that they do so this is the heat tech but in the ultra thick so it's kind of like fleeced which is honestly amazing like I wear this pretty much out every morning at the moment and I've just ordered another one I don't think it will arrive in time but just for winter in general these are amazing 
then have goggles so I've got these which I mean these are recommended from Amazon so who knows these are the ones I took last time I have different lenses for these which switch out which are always really handy and then I just recently got these from Jimmy Fairley they really kindly gifted me these for the this trip which I thought was super cool and they're like polarized sunglasses for your helmet and they're so cool on so when I'm there, I will show you guys those because I need to adjust them to the helmet size, but they come in this really cute little like snow bag. How fun is that? Then I've got passport, I've got snacks. That might seem excessive, but I get super hungry on the slope. Portable charger, peppermint tea, vitamins, and then medicine and anti-sickness because of the coach. Fingers crossed I don't have to use that, but that's the kind of essentials lineup. So my loves, this is the current situation. I use these bags to pack my suits in, just like airtight pack them. They're just like old clothes bags that I've got from different companies at different points in the year. And then I completely forgot nearly my charger adapters. Adapters? Yeah, adapters. And then my pajamas are in there. I've got two sets of those. And then what I have done is I've actually put all my socks into my moon boots to kind of keep their shape in my bag then I've put normal socks for kind of evenings and all of that in here this is like an old frank body bag that I got that I put all my pants in then I have done all my thermals in one with my gloves and then I've done two jumpers so fleece and then a cuddly jumper for the evening and some shampoos and conditioners for my hair because my hair just needs like the right products so I've put them into my little reusable bottles and then I've got my sunglasses and my bum bag I've put my beanie in and also some thermal socks and an eye mask to sleep in and that is kind of everything in there for now I probably am going to slip my hair straighteners into there and a few like heat protectors and all of that probably tomorrow but for now that is everything in the big boy bag I feel like weight wise I'm really light I'm about 15 or 16 I feel like I've got to the point now I can actually guess how heavy my bag is going to be so it's kind of worrying me that I don't have enough stuff which I'm not really sure why that's the case but that's where I'm at. <laughs> I have laid out my outfit for the morning so I've got my little red bag, white tee and my specials and then my pink jumper because we're going out on our first evening in Barcelona so I thought these trainers would just be really easy to flat pack eventually but have for the evening because I know they're super super comfortable and then I was thinking maybe blue jeans but I'm gonna try them on in the morning and see how we go. Question, can I take oranges on a plane? This seems excessive but honestly snacks for me super super early because I seem to just wake up so early I feel like I'm gonna want the oranges as like a morning <laughs> pre-breakfast snack so I've got those potentially I need to google if I can take them on a plane then I've got all my biscuits which again is excessive but needed my liquid bag which I don't know why my chewing gum's in there but it is and then tripod for work I tend to put my laptop in here and my hard drive and then we've got wet wipes as an emergency I barely use these but just in case my vitamins medicines portable charger and lead peppermint tea bags apples because you never know when you want, might want one and then I've got my evening outfit for Barcelona in here which is just a change of top and then I've got a backup top for the way home which is just a white tee which I thought would come in handy just in case I need it and then I also probably need to think of a coach outfit because we're getting the coach on the Sunday but I'm thinking maybe just what I travel in but with a different top underneath so pink jumper and trousers but anyway we shall see but that is currently where we're at. Yeah very very excited I am gonna have a shower now scrub the fake tan freshly fake tan do the hair have a bit of a chilled evening I've got some work to do so I'm just gonna kind of do that and then yeah, I will pick up the camera when I'm at the airport. It's my first flight in a very long time flying alone. I think it's my first flight flying alone in, I want to say five years, which I mean, it's only a three hour flight, but I'm a very anxious flyer. So yeah, we will see how we go. <laughs> I'm going to be fine. I'm just going to take it slow. Jay's really kindly offered to drive me to the airport to kind of help with the nerves so that I don't have that like pre-airport like transfers and transport and all of that so anyway I'll pick up the camera when we're doing that together and yeah hopefully the packing has been a little bit helpful to show you guys kind of the system I do I also get my packing cubes from Amazon so I'll leave them linked down below but the purple one you just saw just quickly I actually got 
these from Primark. So there's a pack of three. I mean, I don't know how good the zips are gonna be, but I just thought back up just in case I need a few extras over this year. They were five pounds for three extra ones and I didn't need to get another pack of like 12. So yeah, that is me with some spares just in case. <laughs> Barcelona with the girlies. I didn't vlog on the way here, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a good traveler at five in the morning, I'm three in the morning. Out. And I was by myself. I mean, you can tell from the eye bags I have not slept. So I'm going to have to have a massive big sleep tonight and hopefully sorts out how tired I am. Put some makeup on for this evening. But we are in Barcelona. We are, well, we've been for a really nice little lunch, but I wasn't able to pick up my camera then because it was at Soho House. And yeah, we're just walking around and exploring the sites basically. So we come to, um, how do you pronounce it, guys? Sagada Familia. Go on then. And Sagada Familia. Yeah, there you go. No, that, that was quite bad. Uh, <laughs> that was it. So that's what it's called. I don't want to. Sagada Familia. It. And it's stunning. Sagrada. Yeah, it's stunning. Sagrada. We're gonna go in. I can't wait. Yeah, I think it's gonna be gorgeous go because the sun is coming through the stained glass window. <gasps> that is yes, look, you can see just through the door there. It's like you've got three pieces. Guys, if you come here, yeah. please hold your bags. Yeah. There's a lot of people lying us up. Yeah. We're prime suspect. We are. Oh God, because we're bright. We're brightly coloured. I might put it like that. that was one of the most beautiful places I have ever been like it was stunning we sat down for a bit in there and like took in just the energy like I can't explain it just felt so calming and it was beautiful and we got there at the right time we went in at half three and the sun was at the perfect point to go through all the glass and it was yeah just absolutely stunning I've never been in there from what I can remember however my parents will probably say yes you have when you're around five years old because I feel like they used to come here a lot when I was a baby and I mean I don't remember that but it was incredible experience I really recommend doing that if you're in Barcelona and if you do come on the girls who ski trip really recommend like going and doing a little bit of the like must touristy things to do if you've never been here before because it was just so lovely so i've got into the room checked in and dropped my bags quickly freshened up i literally did like a 10 minute makeup really not sure like this is just it's actually quite intense on the eyes <laughs> i didn't know i was like this and we are heading out for the kind of like welcome dinner so all the girls get together on the first night here in Barcelona have sangria and tapas we meet everyone I am very excited I also full disclosure this is like there were last minute slot opened up on the galaxy travel trip I paid for the, my spot here and I was really excited that a space opened up because I've been talking to Bronte about like doing another ski trip with her and some of the girls ASAP so it's nice that I get to come and experience this and it's my first girls who travel which is really exciting I really want to get my sister on this as well because I feel like it would be such an amazing way of like meeting new girls and like solo traveling or going in twos and things like that so yeah, I'm excited to meet all the girls later. I think there's 26 of us in total and like everyone's different levels in terms of skiing. Me and Amber are doing lessons, I think with five other girls on the trip who we'll meet this evening. So yeah, it's all very exciting, but I am feeling a little bit delirious. I basically didn't pick up the camera this morning because I was feeling so anxious. It's probably the most anxious stuff I've, I've felt for a travel day in the longest time. And I just don't know why I've, like I've traveled so much the last two years that I feel like I'd be a little bit more calm but I don't know I was just having one of those evenings and I had an influx of hate messages last night for some reason about random stuff and usually I'm okay with it but breaking me down a little bit I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable but I think it's because I'm tired so I basically just didn't sleep <laughs> so if I'm like word vomiting and just all a bit over the place it's because I'm a bit delirious but it's going to be such a lovely evening so I'll take you guys along and I also did get a few little extra thermals and a jumper because I had a panic that although I feel like I packed well I didn't actually think about the evenings and when I bumped into Bronte bumped into her when I <laughs> saw Bronte she was like have you got enough stuff for like the dinners and I was like dinners I, was like, I didn't realize we were going for dinners that are like restaurant dinners I was kind of just planning on wearing a puffer and like 
a fleece. So I was like, okay, I'll quickly buy a sale jumper. So I'll show you guys that when we get back to the room or early tomorrow morning, depending on timings. But anyway, gonna head up to the girls' room now and yeah, just quickly freshen up before we head out. Hello, my loves. So I didn't actually pick up the camera last night, but I'm gonna leave pictures on the screen here because I'm the worst vlogger. And actually, to be honest, I was just soaking up being there and meeting everyone and having a really nice dinner. And it is the next day. I had a really nice sleep and we've got our gals who had some. We're ready. It's very warm. It's warm on this couch. Go on, give us a little show. Did I count your <gasps> I mean, I'm really, it's a mood, to be honest. It is a real big mood. Anyway, no, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, we're on our way, we're on the coach. Here we go. Anyway, guys, we are off. Here we go. She's ready. David's here. Just stopped off for a little wee break, and we've got all the snackettes. I'm also getting a little iced oat milk. Coffee. Ah, gracias. Thank you. <laughs> Quick coffee time. Um, it's an instant shot with an ice cube before we go. It looks insane, doesn't it? Guys, look at this chocolate. Yeah, like look at that. I wonder what the one next to it is, an apple. Wow. The big boy croissant looks delicious. What will it with? Guys, the snacks are out. Snacks are out. Snacks are out. We're ready. We're fueling up. Second half of the journey. Here we go. The pilot and the co-pilot are not the same. Okay. Number two. arrived we have just dropped our bags and come for lunch we're at a place called la husky restaurant and it is stunning we're literally on like the bottom of the slopes here and it is beautiful look at me right now like sorry it's so, it's so cute. cute i'm so happy i love it. how everyone all the girls are over there as well there's so many of us they've had to split the tables so um yeah. we've just come to the little small table and then all the girls are sitting together back there but there is the lots on the menu there's like salads there's soups there's fondue there's burgers there's loads to choose from and after this we're then going to get our ski fitted before going into the room so it's a really nice like chilled little day of exploring the area which is guys i'm starting as i mean to go on love that i keep thinking the straw is paper and then I keep biting into it. Straw, I, thought maybe I got a bit scared of the straw, but do you know what? She's clean. Okay. I think. That's <laughs> it's a metal straw, guys. I had a bad experience when I was a child with a metal straw. But the views, the atmosphere, we've ordered fondue. I'm feeling quite lucky to be here. I, guys, I'm going to cry again. I need to stop. No, here she goes. The tear ducts are, <laughs> the tear ducts are happening. I'm so glad you said yes. Me too. Oh, my God. And they're off. I have just got into the room, checking in. This is my view. Whoa, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Also, there's so many shops here. I just had no idea, which is super cool. I am on the fourth floor in the hotel and it's got this lovely little bed set up. It's absolutely massive. And I've got my tripod set up because I'm filming. And this is the bathroom. You've got a shower, a nice little Miller Harris soaps, tissues, vanity kit, towel, toilet. I'm setting up the wardrobe because it's me. And I have, it looks like five suits. I have four suits, which is excessive. I know that, but it's just 
it's just me basically but yeah i'm just unpacking because i mean the fact that we're here for the week i feel like i like to unpack i'm an unpacker so i'm currently doing that and then we have 10 minutes and we need to be downstairs ready for tobogganing or sledging i think it's like a surprise activity which is quite fun so we're going to do that also this is my h&m new top and it's faulty when i got it so <laughs> this was one of the tops that i got and the bottoms that i got so i got some black low rise flares just for like comfort and they're so fluffy and then i just got a black little basic top and the jumper which i'll show with you guys later but annoyingly it's a little bit faulty but it's fine i didn't have time to take it back so just wearing it but it's like just a nice little fitted like jersey style tee which is nice anyway i'm gonna unpack and head down to sledging skiing. I don't know if I can take my camera for that kind of activity because I think they might lay on our front. I'll kind of see how I go. I might film on my phone. We've got our dinner. Yum, yum, yum. yum. Good morning, my love. So I had the buffet dinner last night and just quickly wanted to jump on and show you the jumper. I want to put it on and show you guys, but I'm not going to lie because I think it hasn't been washed. It's putting fluff on everything. So. I'm gonna include it in the next vlog, I'm sure, because I'm gonna probably wear it for one of our dinners, but I am currently in like all my thermals for the day <laughs> and I just don't wanna get super, super hairy. Dinner last night was also super, super lovely. I was not sure what to expect from like a buffet style breakfast. Sometimes they're very hit and miss, but they literally covered everything. They had like salads, they were like making fresh fish and meats for everyone. And like, it was like made to order. So you'd go up and you'd ask and it'd be like what they're making of the day. So each day is different. So I'm really excited about that. But I feel like this vlog has been a bit all over the place, been like packed with me and travel with me, but a little bit like stop start so I'm sorry I've been picking up the camera at wrong like random not wrong random times but I'm gonna end this video here because I want to start for the full day today of skiing it's the first day of skiing I'm wearing red so you can't miss me on the slopes I actually hired this suit last minute from her which is honestly like my dream suit it's like my Czech dog's tooth one but in the red from Goldberg and I love the Goldberg suits so much. They're just such cool quality. So gonna wear that today so everyone can spot me just in case. <laughs> and yeah, it's day one. I'm excited, a little bit nervous, but I'm excited to do lessons and like properly learn how to ski again. So I will see you guys in the next video, which will be in a couple of days because I'm gonna vlog like a few different days here, hopefully. So I'll be able to kind of post a little bit more potentially, but thanks for being here and watching this video. Any questions, let me know. And I will see you guys very soon. Lots of love, Mwah. bye.